following program is rated TV MAL. It contains strong language and is intended only for mature audiences. So, without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Now, before I get into the main topic of the night, um, I want to talk about something that's been popping on my TikTok and Instagram page. Uh, of course, I made a reel out of a larger conversation that I was having the other day on the show uh, about a conversation that uh, Charleston White was having with Hollywood Unlocks Jason Lee about black on black crime and if Jason Lee was saying that he doesn't believe that black on black crime is a thing of course Charleston White does I agree with Charleston White and real quick just to give you some context of why I want to talk about this tonight let me show you um, two of the posts that I did now here's the first one oh, hold on let me, uh, let's get to this first post and then We'll get into it. Let me show you what I posted first. This is what got people riled up off the break. So here's the real. So, but you you commented on black on black murder, which we don't. I don't believe black on black crime is a thing. Do you believe it's a thing? Yeah. Why do you believe black on black? Because some would say it's crime is it's it's all based on proximity. Uh, show me where the Jews killing each other. Show me where the Asians going to jail for murder, and they got Asian gangs. You can't. Show me. Show show me. Show me a big population of white people killing white people. You can't. Black on black crime is every single day. Honestly, I'm willing to bet. I'm willing to bet a thousand dollars to anyone right now. At least two black people, at least two black men were murdered by other black men today in Washington, D.C. And I have no idea if it happened or not, but I'm willing to bet that that shit happened today. At least two niggas have been murdered. At least two. How do I know? It's 85 degrees outside. <laughs> All right, so that was the first reel. Like, nothing crazy about that, right? Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. But the comment section, I'm getting all these weird comments. Like, this one guy says, you can't show where white people aren't killing white people. I mean, that wasn't the point. And it says, for real, he tripping. There were Jews that helped the Holocaust. Now, to that, you know, to that, I mean, I say we're, we're not talking about the Holocaust and we're not talking about Jews. We're talking about 2024. We're talking about 2024. Now let's skip over to Instagram because there was a lot more comments on the Instagram page. Um, let's get to that. All right. So Instagram, of course, Mr. Digital Cosby Digital says this is a horrible, uninformed take, right? He says. It's not factual and Jason Lee isn't smart enough to question them on the BS answer. So we go back and forth and he goes on to say Jews, Irish, Italians all killed each other throughout American history. They lived the first ghettos before black people before they were granted. White identity protection and white access to public education and jobs and government like the police department and fire department. I mean, and, I, and I'm and I'm calling cap on that. Like, because we have the same opportunities today in 2024, especially in Washington, D.C., which is uh, basically um, where I started, where I based the conversation from. And I feel like niggas just got all type of excuses, man. Um, we like to talk a lot or we like to use the phrase black lives matter, right? We like to use the phrase black lives matter. But oddly enough, when it comes to the two things that end the most black lives right we act like those are just rites of passage for black culture <laughs> uh, according to Cosby Digital um, it's our privilege to be able to kill each other at alarming rates because white people did it 100 years ago <laughs> and the other big issue that kills way more black lives is of course abortion it's claimed 22 million lives since 1973. 
22 million and counting. But yeah, let's get into some of these posts now. I want to get to the other post I did. The follow-up post to that. Right? Here we go. I did a post reacted to the Charleston White Hollywood Unlocked interview where he expressed his views on black on black crime. And I agree with him. Um, black black on black crime is probably the, one of the biggest issues we have in black America, and it needs to be addressed. And for some strange reason, I got a lot of flack uh, about it. And it's interesting to me, too, because we talk a lot about the women not having accountability, and I agree with that. But it's, it's crazy to me how so many black men refuse to take accountability for our own shit. Now, I'm not blaming all the murders on all black men. That's not what I'm doing. But this is a situation that doesn't have anything to do with white supremacy. Yet, you niggas find a way to bring white people into this when it has nothing to do with them. The problem is we are committing murders against each other at a rate that far exceeds any other group in America. Case in point, in 2022, 10,470 black people were killed by other black people. In that same year, 2022, 7,700 white people killed each other. Okay, and about roughly a thousand for uh, other all other races combined, which gives us a grand total of a little over 19,000 people. So at over at, at 19,000 people, black people were responsible for killing for 10,400 of the murders against each other. That puts us at 13% of the population committing 50% of the murders. That's crazy. And any nigga that tells you any differently is either one, lying to you to get your money, or number two, lying to you to get your vote. The problem is accountability. We have to look ourselves in the mirror and fix our own situation. Stay tuned for solutions. So, I mean, there we have it, yo. I mean, and and I had some 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 comments that agreed with me, but there there was a lot of pushback. Like for once, here comes Cosby the Jew again. This is a goofy take that has been debunked by plenty of people who've actually done any amount of research on the topic. If you deprive any ethnic group of people, resources, education, and healthcare, and stick them all together to fend for themselves, they would kill each other over the limited resources. White people have killed each other and all the ethnic groups around the world over resources. They're murders in the millions. Okay, but that isn't the point. That isn't the point. So if we know all this, and we've been saying this for decades, why isn't it time to now look in the mirror and try to fix this situation ourselves instead of blaming this on white people? I mean, I I, I don't know what else to do. I, I even showed a chart. I even showed a chart that shows how bad this is. As a matter of fact, let me get that chart up. I'll just go ahead and pull it up. Give me a second. I'll pull it up so we can really we can really look into this because this is this is getting ridiculous. I keep hearing all these arguments about oh it's a proximity and you know all this other crap. All right, let's get into this. All right, can y'all see that? No, you can't. Let me put the chart. Put the chart all the way on the screen. Now look at this. Look at this shit. This is 2022, right? Here we have 10,470 black people. Uh, black on black crimes 7,704 white on white murders and then for the other races it's minimal 568 for other race and 454 for unknown race now I, I don't know about you but these numbers are absolutely astronomical in the grand scheme of things there's only 40 million black people in the United States of America there are over 200 million white people in America. So you mean to tell me the 40 million people in America have 200 million people in America beat by 3,000 murders every year. And this is not a major problem. Let's compare ourselves to the Hispanic community. The Hispanic community 
has about 65 to 70 million people right so about 20 to 30 more million people than we have and they have less than a thousand murders per year and you're telling me this isn't a problem like we can't run from these facts I know Cosby Digital said he wanted to come on the show and debate me. He can debate all he wants. All he's going to do is come with uh, emotional statistics about systemic racism and all this crap that I ain't trying to hear. The bottom line is these are our numbers. This is not white people killing black people. These are black people killing black people. So we can't whine our way out of this or what about ism our way out of this and try to point the finger at, uh, at white people. I mean, here, here's the thing. And it never fails with black folk. Never fails. And real talk, I'm especially disappointed in the men. Because like I said, we can sit up here and we can critique the women all day, every day for their lack of accountability. We can critique the women all day for their lack of accountability. But when it's time for us to take the goddamn L and admit some of our shit stinks niggas all of a sudden come on their menstrual cycle right niggas all of a sudden uh start using sign language rp to kevin samuel suppress for a little I mean, shame women, insult, women. guilt the need sure. to be right and this is what i always say of- you bring up a valid issue with facts statistics and data and all of a sudden these niggas turn into women see this is why i advise the black folks that have sense to just fend for yourself and congregate with like-minded people no matter what race they are trying to save our community at this point is a lost cause because there are far too many people who believe that uh that solving our problems rest on the shoulders of other people I literally showed a chart that proves black on black crime is out of control and a nigga still came back with an, with an excuse to blame white people as if that's going to fix any goddamn thing. See, all these niggas want to do is be victims. Why? Because being a victim doesn't come with any responsibility. When shit gets too hard, just blame someone else. That's the mentality. And then niggas get butt hurt when other groups don't want nothing to do with them. Well, what do you niggas expect? Your culture is associated with degeneracy. Your culture is associated with perversion, criminality, and poverty. And instead of rejecting it, we make excuses for it or we glorify it in our music. See, from this point on, I'm no longer interested in hearing niggas cry about their circumstances. You come this way with that bullshit and I'm holding up a mirror and I'm going to show you why it's your motherfucking fault. I'm going to show you. I'm not going to coddle you. I'm not going to listen to your whining. I'm not going to entertain all this white supremacy talk. That shit's over, bro. That shit's over. White man ain't thinking about you. Why would he be thinking about you when you're in last place in America? He's thinking about the other world powers who are trying to fucking take this shit over. And you think you you think you the biggest uh problem on the list? No. In actuality, they would rather you get your shit together and hop on board so we can get rid of these other threats. Well, at least that's the consensus on the conservative side. The conservatives don't want crime. The conservatives don't want abortion. They don't want you to kill your babies. The conservatives push the nuclear family. The conservatives push meritocracy, starting a business. But you guys are punch drunk on liberal policies. You want the welfare. You want the welfare. Niggas want to talk all this black Wall Street shit 
all day and all this do for self shit but the minute they take away welfare all of you niggas will be downtown with picket signs trying to get that shit back even though that's the main piece of the puzzle that's the biggest piece on the chessboard they used to mess our whole situation up but if they took it away from you that's the true that's the true challenge no no welfare what you niggas gonna do what you gonna do you niggas don't want to be self-sustainable you want to be victims you want to be victims but anyway speaking of victims let's get to the next topic um uh next up we got the topic of the night and that is has keisha flipped on karen <laughs> 